I think the in terms of and, I, and, I, and again I, I'm looking here on my iPad because I did a chat at business school at ESA uh, a few months ago and I and I had a slide about key success factors about things that I think are were, were, were instrumental in in getting us where we are today but and I would say the most important bit is what you don't see that is the the, the uh, conversations so I think it's very important that to talk a lot within the family members. So involve everyone and, and this is the most difficult part because, okay, I know what I want to do, I'm going to do it and then the rest will follow, no. Okay, engage everyone, okay, what if we do this? What are, you, what are your ideas? What are your ideas? What do you think? So that this is very time consuming, you know, it sometimes can be unpleasant, a lot of friction, but again, I think that this pays dividends, the, the return on investment on, on engaging everyone, talking to everyone, making sure that everyone's on board, making sure that everyone understands because sometimes you say, okay, we're going to create this governance and people don't follow you. Yeah, why do we want, why do we need this committee? And why do we need this? And what are you going to do here? So, because you know, people have come from different backgrounds. So yeah. making sure the speed of the process is of the least common denominator. So you go at the speed of the slowest one. Yeah. Involving and being transparent. No secret, no hidden agendas. No hidden agendas. Be transparent because the hidden agendas will blow in your face sooner or later. So to me, this is number one. And then number two, what is more visible is have a professional, strong governance. So bring bring external independent members that, that are not yes sayers, that are not going to say, oh, yes, sir, yes, yes. <laughs> bring people that are going to you know, because they respect you, but you know, they are successful people as well. So they don't have to always say yes.